Well, these days, whether you're on a train, plane, or automobile, it's easy to get frustrated when you can't get a good Wi-Fi or 4G signal. But a solution may be on the horizon. CCTV's Mark New explains how the internet is about to get moving in order to keep up with demand. Joao Barros holds a device that could revolutionize internet connectivity. It's called a Venium NetRider box. All he has to do is place it in his glove box and stick the receiver on the dashboard. His car is now part of what's being called the Internet of Moving Things. We put a little box in every vehicle that is able to connect the vehicle not just to the Internet through the cellular network, but also to other vehicles and to uh, access points, uh, both Wi-Fi access points and special Venium access points that have 10 times the range of normal Wi-Fi. Barros connected his hometown of Porto, Portugal. It now has Venium boxes in its entire public bus fleet, 150 taxis, and more than 600 vehicles. While a normal Wi-Fi connection goes from the device straight to an access point, Venium can use all other connected vehicles to assist in data delivery. The result is that 70% of people in downtown Porto used Venium access points as opposed to cellular networks, meaning they enjoyed a faster connection at a far cheaper cost. So our fastest growing uh, product uh, is our product for the ports. So we are able to provide a very reliable solution for cranes, boats, containers to be connected in very difficult environments like ports where you have metal containers that block uh, the cellular signal and the normal Wi-Fi signal. Boros says another mode of transport with strong demand for their technology is the public bus. Many U.S. transport officials have expressed interest in improving bus safety with onboard cameras that can stream video to the cloud. Connected buses can also relay fuel consumption information and provide data on where people get on and off. By hooking it up to garbage trucks and garbage cans, Vedium system can even indicate with green that a bin is empty or red that a bin is full. So we call it the Internet of Moving Things because we realize that our technology is uh, the ideal way to connect not just vehicles, but also other moving things. And if you think about it, very soon you'll have drones, you'll have robots, and all sorts of sensors that are placed in moving machines uh, that need to be connected to each other and to the Internet. Barrow says Venium is working on a deal with a large port in Asia and that he expects to close his first public transportation deal in the U.S. in the coming months. The hope is to establish the product in large fleets in highly populated areas first, and then to private vehicles. Because the more Venium carrying devices there are on the road, the more powerful becomes the Internet of Moving Things. Mark New, CCTV, Mountain View, California.